Hey guys, what's going on? Kooks46 here, bringing you a new video. This is not going to be MLB The Show 18 related. This is going to be me just talking about real baseball. I asked you guys if this is something you wanted to see in the stream yesterday, and you guys said yes. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to give you my 2018 MLB season predictions. Uh, I kind of like doing this stuff. I kind of like speculating and seeing, or like, you know, talking about different teams and who might be better, who might, you know, whatever. I just, I, I, it's fun. It's fun to speculate. And with the day that you're watching this today, being opening day there's no better time to talk about this so guys here are my predictions for the 2018 MLB season. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to talk about each division individually, then I'm going to talk about who I think are going to get the two wild card spots, and then I'll do like a postseason bracket rundown. I'll, I'll try to keep it kind of short and sweet so it's not a crazy long video because I can honestly talk for five hours about this stuff because I love baseball. So let's go ahead and start it off with the American League. We'll start it off with the American League East. Of course, everybody is talking about the Yankees adding Giancarlo Stanton to the squad, uh, the Reds. Sox kind of made their own move by getting uh, J.D. Martinez. Uh, I think the Yankees are the favorite to win that division. Uh, I think, you know, they also added CC Sabathia. They re-signed him to, I think it was a one-year deal. Uh, I think the Yankees uh, just have what it takes. With last year being a quote-unquote rebuilding year for them, and then with the, you know, electric season that Aaron Judge had, kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, Gary Sanchez, Giancarlo Stanton, Didi Gregorius, all those guys, that entire lineup, bro, all the way down to Greg Bird is going to be, it's, there's, they're going to score so many runs, it's going to be ridiculous. But uh, the Red Sox, of course, are not like, it, just because the, the Yankees are going to win that division doesn't mean the Red Sox are going to be bad. I think the Red Sox are going to challenge them for that division all year, but I think at the end of the year, the Yankees will win it. Um, as far as the other teams, I still have no idea what the Blue Jays plan is. I, I don't, I'm totally not bought into the Blue Jays at all. Same with the Orioles. I think losing uh, Zach Britton again for a little while and then the whole deal with Machado talks in the offseason. I think Machado is out of there by the trade deadline. And then, uh, of course, you have the Tampa Bay Rays. They're not going anywhere either. Chris Archer might as well be out of there as at the trade deadline as well. So I do have the Yankees winning the East. The Red Sox are the biggest competition and the other three teams kind of whatever at this point. All right, now let's move to the American League Central. Of course, you've got the Indians who won the division last year. The Twins came out of that division as a wild card and actually played the Yankees in that wild card game. Then you've got the Indians, or I'm sorry, the the Royals, the White Sox, and the Tigers. So I think this one may be the the easiest division other than the NL East to really predict. I do think the Indians are going to take the division fairly easily. Uh, the Twins, I'm not. I, I'm not fully bought in on them. Uh, they have some young guys. Like, if Byron Buxton actually has a really good season, Jose Barrios pitches pretty well for them. Uh, you know, I think I think they could be good, uh, I, but I don't see them challenging the Indians for that division. As far as the Royals, the Royals, to me, are kind of up in the air. I feel like the Royals could have some success, but I feel like, at the same time, they're not really going to get anywhere. Uh, they did re-sign Moustakis, and Salvador Perez just got hurt, so they're a little bit all over the place right now. I don't really see the Royals contending. As far as the Tigers... You know, it, it's kind of a rebuild. They're, they're kind of entering rebuild mode, kind of like Chris Archer and uh, um, Manny Machado from the East. I do think that Miguel Cabrera could be a uh, trade piece at the deadline or something like that because, you know, he's he's Miguel Cabrera can still hit. The Tigers aren't going anywhere, so I don't see them doing much. And then, of course, the White Sox, they've got who do they, they signed Wellington Castillo. I think that was mainly a move to kind of help develop their young pitching because, you know, they have a bunch of young guys. Castillo is is a is a veteran guy, but and he can help their pitch pitching uh, or their young guys kind of uh, you know form into some some so solid pitchers. But I think at the end of the day, it's the Indians. I think they're clearly the best team in that division, and uh, I, I don't see any of the other four teams really challenging them for the division title. Now, as far as the American League West, I should mention just so you know, I I am an Angels fan, so you know take my opinion on the Angels with a grain of salt if you must. Uh, but I think the Astros are still, of course, the clear favorite in that division just because the Angels made a move to get Shohei Otani and they signed uh, Zach Cozart. They got Ian Kinsler from the Tigers. They signed Upton to a five-year extension. The Angels did a lot of moves in the offseason and I think they did get better um, but of course not better than the Astros. The Astros are still going to run away with that division I think. I think they'll, they'll still win it by 10 plus games. Um, as far as the Rangers, 
not really feeling the Rangers this year. I think Beltre could have another big year. Beltre is always good. Um, but there's not really a lot going for the Rangers. If Joey Gallo can can just rake all of a sudden and put together like a 30 home run year, that'd be kind of crazy. Uh, as far as the A's, nothing happening there in my opinion. Chris Davis may have another 40 bomb season, but I don't really see them doing much as a team. And then uh, the Mariners. Mariners, I feel like they have so much potential there, but some of the moves they're making, their pitching to me is just, they need to get better at pitching. You know, they have some good guys on offense. Ben Gamble, Robinson Cano, Nelson Cruz. Like, they have guys who can hit. Zanino has power. But I just feel like they don't know how to put it together. And the Angels have had that problem in the past, too. I do think the Astros, like I said, are the clear-cut favorites. I think the Angels will have a good year, um, but not enough to beat the Astros out of the first place spot. So my three division champions, the Yankees, the Indians, and the Astros, as far as the wild card, I do think the Red Sox will get a wild card. And, you know, like I said, take my opinion with a grain of salt, but I do think the Angels will get that second wild card spot. I think the Red Sox will get the first one, and I think the Angels will fight for that second one. And it'll probably come to the, down to the either the second or third to last game of the season or something like that. Uh, I think there's going to be a good race in the American League for that second wild card. But so there you go, guys. That's my American League predictions. So now in the National League, we'll go ahead and start it off in the East. Uh, pretty easy. I think the Nationals are the clear-cut favorite to win the division. Um, the Mets, I actually, I think the Mets will actually be pretty solid this year as long as they can stay healthy. That was their biggest crutch last year. I mean, this year they're going to have DeGrom, they're going to have Syndergaard, they're going to have Cespedes, Conforto, they signed Jay Bruce for right field. Like, they're going to be a really, really solid team this year, I think. I think they'll they'll actually, you know, have a really solid record um, as long as they can stay healthy. Like I said, that was their biggest thing. You know, it, it was a total like that that last season because of those injuries really just you know screwed up that entire season for the Mets um they could challenge the Nationals for the division but I do think the Nationals ultimately will win that division um as far as the other teams, the Marlins, we all know what's going on with the Marlins, or technically we don't because nobody knows what the Marlins are doing. They got rid of Yelich, uh, Stanton, Ozuna, uh, they got D. Gordon, they got rid of all of their guys. So who, they have uh, Real Muto still there, Justin Bohr, Starling Castro. So they have a couple guys that can still hit down there, but I just don't think they have enough to put anything together. So they're not going to be a very good team next year, I don't think. As far as the Phillies, the Phillies are interesting. I think the Phillies, not this year, can make the postseason, but I think within the next two years, the addition of Jake Arrieta, uh, the fact that his contract is backloaded, or I'm sorry, front-loaded, front-loaded. He's making like 30 mil this year, and then 25 next year, and then 20 the year after that. Uh, that gives them a lot of spending room to sign either free agents, or to, you know, go after prospects, or whatever it is. That gives them a lot of uh, financial flexibility, so I think they kind of know where they stand right now. Uh, they also signed Carlos Santana, so Reese Hoskins is going to move to left. I, I kind of like where the Phillies are right now. I think the Phillies are, are making some very, very smart and some very calculated moves. So I can see the Phillies in the next couple years being more of a of a playoff contender. But right now, this season, I still think they have some work to do, but they could surprise some people. And the Braves also, they have a good young uh, farm system. Acuna, of course, is just, he's going to be a stud probably. Freddie Freeman's still a good first baseman. Ultimately, this season, I think the top two teams in that division are going to be the Nationals at number one, and I think the Mets at number two, probably the Braves at number three, and then underneath them, the Marlins and the Phillies, probably the Phillies and the Marlins. So the National League Central is probably the most interesting division for me. I think this division is wide open. Like, I'll make a prediction in this video, but I like I literally don't know. This is me literally just drawing one of the three teams that I think could win it out of a hat. So you've, of course, got the Chicago Cubs, who went to the uh, NLCS last year to play the Dodgers. The Dodgers pretty much ran away with that series. They won it 4-1, to one, I believe. And um, they so their offseason was a little interesting. They, of course... Lost Wade Davis, um, and then they picked up who was it? Uh, uh, U Darvish. They signed him to like a six or a seven year deal or something like that. So they did get good or better in their starting rotation, um, but. I don't know what it is about the Cubs. The Cubs have shown that they can be in the playoffs. The Cubs have shown how good they are, but I just don't know. I'm not really bought in. I feel like their pitching is very sketchy. Not not you, Darvish. I think Darvish will do fine there, but I think their pitching is still a little suspect, so we'll see how it goes. Maybe Carl Edwards Jr. could could have a nice, uh, nice year out of the bullpen for them and be a really, really good, reliable guy. Um, as far as the Brewers, they have a great outfield. Lorenzo Cain and Christian Yelich, man, and that bad boy, Eric Thames in there as well. Um, they're their pitching is, is something I'm, I'm interested in as well. 
Um, and then, of course, you have the Cardinals. The Cardinals did get uh, Marcelo Zuna. It, it's it's just that division to me. All three of those teams really have a chance at winning at winning the the division title. I I, I don't know. Um, and the Pirates and the uh, Reds are. I think they're going to be the bottom of the division. I don't know who's going to finish above who in there. I think maybe the Pirates will finish last and the Reds will finish above them. The Reds, of course, have Joey Votto. You can never overlook that guy. But I think the top three teams in that division. Like I said, I could really go either way. I'm going to say the Cardinals then the Brewers, and then the Cubs. That may be an unpopular opinion, guys. It really may be the Cubs finishing third in that division. I don't know why I'm not bought in. It's just kind of a gut feeling on the Cubs. I just, I, I don't know what it is. They have they have shown in the past that they can make it to the postseason and they can win in the postseason. But for some reason this year, it's just because they're pitching, I'm, I'm just not buying in on them. You know, they've got a great team, Contreras, Bryant, Rizzo. Like, they, they're great, but I, I don't know why I can't just say I think they're going to win the division. I just, it, something's holding me back. And then for the National League West, uh, I think this one is a pretty easy one. I think the Dodgers are still going to kind of run away with that division. As far as the second spot, that's a little bit more interesting. Uh, the Giants, of course, made some splashes this offseason by getting Andrew McCutcheon as well as Evan Longoria. But to me, I don't necessarily think the Giants got better. I think the Giants got older. I, I don't really, I, I'm not bought in on the Giants. It, if I was telling people, whoever, when people come in my stream and they ask me about the Giants. I kind of think the Giants remind me of the Lakers when they got Steve Nash and Dwight Howard that one year. It may be a weird comparison, but it's like, yo, this would have been cool if this was four years ago. But, you know, I, I don't really... I, I don't really think they got necessarily better. Plus, uh, Bumgarner hurt his wrist again, so they got Posey and Brandon Bell and Joe Panic and Hunter Pence. They've got some good guys in there, but I don't know if they're going to be able to, to really challenge the Dodgers for, for that division or even the second spot because the Diamondbacks can still hit, you know, Goldie, uh, A.J. Pollock, Jake Lamb. Like, they've still got a pretty good offensive team right there. And then the Rockies, of course. Also, uh, you know, Charlie Blackman, D.J. LeMahieu, they've got a great team. I think that, that second spot in that division is going to come down to pitching, and I don't think the... Um, the Padres are going to challenge either of those teams for the second spot. I still think the Padres are going to finish in last. So, Dodgers win in that division. As far as the wild card, this is interesting to me. I, uh, it's hard to pick. It really is because that that National League Central, like I said, I think all three of those teams could win that division, and I think all three of those teams will fight for that division to the very end of the season. So, uh, if they're all fighting for a division title, they're all going to have pretty solid records, I think. So, it could be the Cubs and the Brewers in the wild card, but I also really like the Mets. So, I think the I, I, my two wild card predictions, at number one, I'm going to say the Mets, and at number two, I'm going to say, and the Brewers. I'm going to go with the Brewers to win that second wild card spot, dude. I, I know I'm pissing off some Cubs fans right now. I'm sorry, guys. Don't hate me. I just I, I don't know what is holding me back from saying anything about the Cubs. So just for a quick little postseason bracket rundown, uh, we started with the AL, so now we'll start with the National League. Uh, as far as my National League wild card matchup, I've got the Mets and the Brewers. I got the Mets winning that, so the Mets will play. I think the number one team in the league will be the Dodgers. So I'll go Dodgers-Mets. Uh, I think the Dodgers will win that 3-2, to two, and then you have the Nationals and the uh, Cardinals. Really hard to pick the, the, the Nationals because they keep losing in the NLDS. Like, they haven't shown that they can win a postseason series. But I'll give it to them this year. Maybe I'm going to be proven wrong again. Th their pitching is just so good, and their hitting is so good. Like, They've got to show me, though, man. So I'm going to go Dodgers and Nationals in the NLCS, and I do think the Dodgers are going to go back to the World Series. So for the American League side of things, for the wild card, I had the Red Sox and the Angels. I do think that the Red Sox will beat out my Angels in the wild card game, and they will advance to play the number one seed, which I actually have being the Yankees this time around. I think the Yankees are just going to score an insane amount of runs. The Astros are still going to be really good. I think they're going to run away with their division, but I do think the Yankees might win a couple more regular seasons in games, just their, their lineup is just incredible. Um, so the Yankees are going to be the number one seed, and I have the Yankees and Red Sox playing each other in the ALDS. That's going to be a really fun series if it happens. And then you have the Astros and the Indians. I think the Yankees will beat the Red Sox in the ALDS. It might go five. And as far as the Astros and the Indians, I do think that it will go five, and I do think the Astros will go back. So literally the same ALCS matchup, guys. Uh, this one, you know, last year it went game seven, and the Astros did beat out the Yankees. 
Yankees. You have to look at both teams. I think the Astros got better at pitching by adding Garrett Cole, and the Yankees got better at hitting by adding Giancarlo Stanton. Honestly, I'm going to say those cancel out, and I'm going to say the Astros win again, and we have a World Series rematch. You might be saying, dude, that's the easy pick right there. Do something crazy. But I do think the Astros and Dodgers are the two best teams in each league. I, I, I think they're going to go back and meet each other again in the playoffs. And as far as the World Series, I want to say that the Dodgers are going to win because they would learn from last year's World Series. They'd learn from their mistakes. But at the same time, the Astros did get better by adding Garrett Cole to their starting rotation. It's really up in the air. But just to change things up, I'm going to say the Dodgers are going to win the World Series 4-3, to three, 7 games. So I have the Dodgers as your 2018 World Series champions. As far as bold predictions, I have Jose Abreu winning the AL MVP. It may not be as bold because some people do think it's going to happen, but I have Stanton and Judge both hitting 50-plus home runs. And then in the National League, I have Eric Hosmer having a bad season. I think he's going to hit like 240 and like maybe like 15 home runs. I'm not... I'm, don't think Eric Hosmer is going to do too well in San Diego, but those are my predictions for the MLB season, guys. Let me know. I know people are going to dislike the video. I know people are going to disagree with some stuff, especially because my predictions aren't that crazy, but honestly, man, this is just what I think. It may not be the most crazy predictions in the world, but I think they're the best team still. So let me know what your guys' predictions are down in the comments. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. I really appreciate everybody who has been watching. So thank you guys for watching. Drop a thumbs up on if you did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you in the MLB season. Peace.